today they have 1500, which is a lo the longest distance we skate, and also the 500, which is the full out sprint. Uh, tomorrow there's a thousand meter, which is a middle distance, and then there's an additional 1500 super final for the top 12. Favorite distance, probably 500. My favorite distance is the thousand meter. My favorite distance is the 1500. I specialize in the thousand and the 1500. Short track is an unbelievable sport. You see one race and you understand it's a lot going on. My dad was a hockey ref and he didn't want me to play in hockey because it was too rough. My name is Mary Grace and I'm a speed skater. My name is Kimberly Derrick and I'm a short track speed skater. I think I started skating around five. I started it when I was about six years old. When you're a Canadian and you look at the American winning and like number one, USA number one, you look at this and you say, like, that guy, like, go home, like, what are you doing? Like, but when I'm on this side, which I did in the 90s, when you realize it's, they're not showing up, they do it because they're proud. My name is Ryan Bedford, uh, I'm from Midland, Michigan. I'm Tina Koenig and I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Hi, I'm Jordan Malone, I am from Denton, Texas. <laughs> Cross the line first, that's the winner. The rest of them can go home and think about that. Typical day is wake up, breakfast, go to the ice rink, skate for a couple hours. And then, because I'm still in high school, I go to school from 11 to 2. And then we'll be back in the afternoon for more training. Sometimes ice, sometimes off ice, sometimes in the weight room. Uh, and then 5.30, 6 o'clock, we're done. And then after that, I either relax, eat dinner, relax, or I have to go to work. And then after that, it's dinner time and homework and bed. In Marquette, we're like a family. We all live on the same floor of a dormitory of a college. So uh, I'm the oldest girl, so I'm basically the mom and have to get the boys to remember their passports. Then it's just a little family. She keeps everyone in line on the ground, keeps their feet on the ground. She's, she's very mother-like. She's such a great girl. I have a lot of good relationships on the team. I'm friends with pretty much everyone, and yeah, they're my friends, and like my, like my brothers and my teammates. They work together cooperatively um, most of the year, and then they have to shift gears on a weekend like this and compete against each other ferociously uh, for prizes that they all desperately want, and somehow remain friends through it and after it when they go back to training. Although the number is very limited, it's like these guys that are there, they give their art and they're going to do everything to make it to that level. And that quality is hard to find. I don't find that with other teams. I think the atmosphere is just very, uh, it's low key, but at the same time they learn a whole lot about, um, about how to compete and uh, basically life in general. My son started speed skating when he was five years old. And because of his achievements, it, it helped him to be confident about himself. And nobody picked on Jordan. I mean, everybody picked on little kids, but he was Jordan Malone. He was ADHD, he was dyslexic, he was asthmatic. He had everything in the world going against him, but he learned that those were all just obstacles that needed to be overcome. Training and working is a hard combination to do. I mean, training is working, so you're working plus working. Um, but Home Depot does a great job for the athletes. They, they bring in 200 and some athletes and, uh, and treat them well. When they're gone at competitions, they allow them to leave. If they have a tough day at practice and they, don't, they can't, come into, can't come into work, they'll, they'll let them slide. So uh, Home Depot's a great sponsor for the U.S. Olympic Committee. It's unbelievable how hard it is. You grow up so fast because you're living in college and 
you just realize that how many different people are out there and how hard life's going to be. I'm living with a couple other skaters and it's hard being away from home because you miss your parents. I do. It's just eye-opening and uh, really the people that can deal with it are the people that get further and get faster. Right at Gary Grayson, second Gary Grayson, third. Kim Garrett in fourth. Two laps to go. kids are just great, you know, they're all working so hard and, and you know, they all have their ups and downs, but they're just such good kids and it's just fun to be around. They are, they're all very sophisticated that way and that they're going to be uh, excellent citizens, especially at, at a time when things are changing culturally and, uh, and uh, uh, understanding and empathy for others' points of view is at a premium. And I think this is really great sport. I, I've seen it all. And I just think it's a fantastic sport. I've always found speed skating to be great because it just takes you everywhere and it opens opportunities when you get better. I'm going to China, uh, Japan, and the Netherlands and uh, Italy to skate against all the other um, skaters from other countries who qualified for the World Cup teams. It's just a beautiful sport. Grace Gary. And look at that style. Gary. I think speed skating is awesome. That's why we've been in it for so long. I've uh, been skating for 16 years, so that's if it wasn't awesome, I wouldn't be skating. Walking into the opening ceremonies, hearing the you know, national anthem, and just seeing so many people love America, and so many people love the athletes of America. I mean, it's huge, and I'm happy that I ex experienced something so great in my life. Yeah.